Okay, folks, I got a weird bug here. Um, Sonia just stopped walking. Uh, she's just got the one sprite in every, no matter where you do. The other two are fine. Uh, this happened, like, after I did a certain cutscene, it doesn't, doesn't fix itself here. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure how to replicate it, but I'm gonna try, so give me a second. Okay, so I reloaded the save file. Like, watch this. Completely restart the game as well. Still happening. Uh, so this recording is going to have to be two parts because I need to close the game and let's see. Okay, it's still happening, which means I just broke it in the code somewhere. Who knows when? It's just Sonya? How... How's that? Okay, yeah, anyways, I'm just recording my live reactions to this. I really don't know. I'm sure it'll make sense once I figure it out. Okay, the mystery persists. Here's all the sprites. They're correct. They're all there. They didn't get overwritten somehow. Here's her sprite array. It's a big long now. I added that dash. That, that, that's not the bug. Uh, down, left, up, right. They're all there. All four arrays, idle, move, attack. I... The, the thing that confuses me about this is both how this could even happen. Here's the only unique code for Sonya. She, this, is the, this script is the only thing that's different, about, that's different about Sonya than the other characters. So how could this only be a Sonya issue? Second of all, I don't think I made any changes. I'm going to have to consult GitHub. We'll find out. Uh... So stay tuned, I guess. Okay, so this is gonna get technical, but what I'm looking at is every instance of object Sonia. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Uh, this is all pathfinding stuff. So here's one thing that could possibly, so here's the update sprites 180, but this is a, this is a cutscene. This would only happen if that cutscene was literally currently active. It's literally in here in the cutscene function. So that's fine. Con speaker just changes the camera. It doesn't affect her sprites at all. There's another sprite instance. So here's another weird one. Like if we were in the middle of this cutscene, then it would tell her to update her sprites. But even this uh, direction, yeah, this would make her face down, which is what we're expecting, what, what, what we're seeing. But again, it's not this because this only calls during the cutscene. Update sprites. Again here, and that's 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 to the right, anyways. Um, these all make her face up. More con speakers. This is just checking if she exists. Man, there's so many cases. Uh, let's see here. Instance exists. Proof that she exists. This is all dialogue. Uh, there's nothing in here. There's nothing. Following, speaking, more dialogue, save checks. That's it. And okay. Um come back when I have another idea. Look, I think what annoys me the most about this is I am sure, sure, at the end of this video, it's gonna be something obvious. And I can't even fathom what it could be right now. I'm I'm just so confused. Okay, so I'm to the point where I'm peeking through GitHub because I think this is a recent issue. I feel like I would have noticed this. Like, as far as I'm aware, this happened in the last hour. This is one thing that could maybe cause an issue. There's a whole list of players, and the other thing that could distinguish Sonia is that she's the first one in the list because I sort them in that way. So if I had some issue with the index, that would be okay, but this change is only during combat, and I'm pretty confident that this code only runs during combat. So that's not it, but that's an angle to look for. It might be that there's a, uh, a zero index reference to Sonia that makes her behave differently than the others. So I'm going to keep my house out for that. Okay, so this isn't the actual problem, but I noticed a different issue, which is uh, right here. There's a minus sign. You know where that comes from? My pause and unpause recording button is the minus sign, which means I've been inserting minuses everywhere in my code as I make this video. I've cleaned up all of them except this one to show you. Um, I'm going to rebind that hotkey after this to something that will not type a key uh, so that, that that just seems like a good idea. But that's that's not what I think was causing the bug.
Okay, I'm gonna do another thing, which is I'm gonna check other save files. And this is what I've been working on. No, and it's just Sonya here. Okay, what happens if I remove Sonya from the party? Okay, no, they're fine. Add Sonya back. She's what? She's fine. Huh? What? How could that be? Delete, add back. Oh my. That has some implications. How could Sonia... have a... I guess it's a different, like, angle? Like, maybe if her angle was 0 0.01, it wouldn't... No, but it's... It I'm pretty sure it rounds, because it's just pulling out of an array, so it would... It would floor to the nearest index. How could the first Sonia? What? Okay, I need to think about this, I guess. See you in a minute. Another thing worth mentioning is that her angle is correct. She attacks in four directions and moves correctly. Just her one sprite doesn't update. Maybe this is her mask sprite, which is rendering for some reason instead of her regular sprite. Like, I guess that would be her default sprite. And then if it doesn't update, maybe it wouldn't know. Okay, I'm gonna go investigate that idea. Ah, no cigar on that because she doesn't have a mask sprite. It's just the same old thing. This, which one? This is the sprite I think we're seeing. I'm gonna put, listen, I know there's easier ways to do this, but um, hit me with the, uh, the check here. I wanna see, is this, is this the sprite we're seeing? <laughs> Oh man, it's so weird. Oh, you know what else I should do? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, forgive the blank screen while it switches. Hey, let's undo that. Let me just hit this little broom icon. I swear, if this fixes it, um, I'm gonna be very sad. Not fixed by cleaning the project. I think I'm. Glad, although I would love the bug to be fixed, but that would really annoy me. Um, so it's still an actual issue. Okay, so here's another thing. I have, oh, there's my minus sign again. Um, I do have a global variable that keeps checks of the initial player, which is Sonya by default, which allows you, if you start a new save file and you like that it's corrupted or something, it will spawn Sonya for you. So what I actually want to look for is where is this used? So only a couple spots. And here we go, control dot add player initial player. Nothing in here should be setting the sprite, but let's find out. Control dot add player. Um, player list. Okay, if it has it already, skip it. If it doesn't exist. Wait. Yeah, if it doesn't exist, we'll add a new one. Layer active dot layer. Wait a second. No, that wouldn't affect anything. I don't quite understand this code, but that shouldn't affect anything. Add players, and then we update the following list, which is just sorting the list by player ID. This is why Sonya is always front in the list. That's that's exactly this thing, the index. And then setting player active to the first slot if we don't have an active player. None of this affects her sprites or her angles or anything like that. Okay, well, that's one thing off the list. Okay, so here is where the sprites should be updating in the player code, right here at the very bottom after everything. If we're not in combat, um, then we update our moving sprites. So here's our direction, which we know is correct because this is also used for moving. Um, although I should double check that just to be sure. This. Uh, will check whether we're idle or not. And then this is checking for the attacking animation. None of that's working. So I'm not sure if this code is running or not, which could only be the case if combat is not active. So I'm gonna investigate a few, few possibilities and I'll report back with what I find. Okay, I've confirmed that this part of the code is running when it should, and that move direction is correct. So the error is in update sprites or somewhere else update sprites is being overwritten after the fact. Okay, I added a print message here for the moving sprite for Sonia. 
I'm going to load the save file with just Sonia and see if this is being called more than once with different sprites. Okay, here we go. I find out. Temple of Light. Okay. Down, 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 down. Okay. What? It's always down. What? Okay, I need to see if this index is changing or somehow the idle sprites array, the array is just filled with down. Down, down, down. So that was actually an obvious thing to fix, to check. I haven't fixed it yet. But we can see here that the index is changing and somehow the whole array is filled with down. So now I need to figure out where somehow in the last two hours I overwrote only the first instance of Lydia's sprite array with one full of just down. Don't know how that happened, but that's that's what happened somewhere, I think. Okay, so here in the entity code, for which is the parent of players and enemies, um, we have the init sprites function, which I believe should just make these arrays. So these arrays are filled with your default sprite index. So this is the state that Sonia is in in the glitched state. And then we do this weird thing with uh, making a copy of a global function as a method of entity instead, which is basically for convenience reasons. That's a little cursed. Don't don't at me, bro. That, that's all I have to say about that. So that means to me that the order of events is wrong. That somehow an init sprite is not is called again after after the create event of Sonia because here. We're overwriting all those arrays. So where would init sprites be called? Event inherited. This is calling the event inherited of, well, let's double check this, of entity. So par player, let me get my inspector open. The parent of that is entity. So here in the create event, event inherited up there is being called init sprites. And then down here, are they different? Um, OK, hold on. I have too many tabs. I need to clean up. Give me a second. OK, the events are called in this order. First, par entity, which is the highest level. Well, there's some more stuff, but that doesn't affect anything. Here, we make our sprites. These are all empty. And then down here, nothing should happen in here. This is all like old code. I can close these. Uh, wait a second. OK, these are the default sprites, which are also empty. But they're completely empty. This would be crashing or giving us doing nothing if this was affecting it. And then in default status, yeah. So when we start combat, the sprites arrays are copied, and then we can edit them afterwards. This allows me to like shape shift one entity into another and return them to their basic sprite state. So this should be the default sprite copies the idle sprites array, and that's all correct. Um, although I should keep in mind, so init copy here. I don't think this affects anything, but I need to remember that could that could affect something. So then the player object, again up here, oh, it's tons of variables. This code starting to feel a little unmaintainable, to be honest. This is just a great evidence of that. But none of this default stats doesn't do anything with the sprites. Okay. And then Sonia overrides the sprites. The thing is, like, if it did have to do with these default sprites, these codes shouldn't run except when you init combat and exit combat. And that isn't happening except when you go into combat and exit combat. And here, when the entity is created one time. But also, the default sprites array aren't used for the update sprites outside of combat. This is all gobbledygook to the viewer, but um, to be honest, it's gobbledygook to me too. I am still confused. Uh, what? This is what gets me the most. Why is it that I can remove her from the party and put her back and then she works again? I checked the code. Let me show you. This 
is how I add Sonya. If I have Sonya, add her or remove her. We already looked at this add method. This is exactly only specifically the way that we spawn them in the beginning of the game. There's this exactly the same one line of code that causes this to happen. Like how could anything inside this function be different depending on whether it's happened the first time? I think like I can think of ways, but not things that would be not have been an issue until now. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've been this bamboozled by a bug in my code in a very long time. Um, I am going to restart Game Maker, I guess, as a way to think. <laughs> think of something else. Welcome to the steady deterioration of the man, of, of, of the mind of a man, a game developer. I, I can't think. Restarting Game Maker did not fix the problem. Which again, I'm a little bit relieved by because if it did, I would just be even more confused. On the other hand, the bug is still not fixed. And you know what? The one good thing about this is I noticed this weird bug and thought, huh, that's weird. Let me get a quick video of it. This recording is now 16 minutes. I'm going to post it. Look, this is just going to be some kind of unhinged devlog. Everyone is going to believe me, at least. I have documentation that this happened. And at least that will keep me sane once I finally fix this problem. Man, I thought this was going to be a quick video. I really, how could this not be a quick video? But it isn't. It isn't. That's, that's reality. Call this a documentation. A documentary? See, I can't even word anymore. I haven't closed the game to go look at the code again in a few minutes now because I literally don't know what to look at next. The... The, if it was all the characters, I'd have a better idea, but it's just Sonya. Just the first copy of Sonya. Let me just, you know, boom. She's all better. She can walk again. A miracle cure. Delete and re-exist. Wow. You know, I should try that with the code. I'll just make a fresh repository and code this game from scratch. And I'll have lots of problems, but this won't be one of them. Look, I've just teleported over here. I'm just gonna hang out with the daybirds and contemplate my life. Consider all the things I could have done differently that would not have led me into the state of trying to fix a bug I can't fix. I'm dramatizing it because I don't know what else to do. I just don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss. Thank you, Daybirds. For your chorus of quacks means nothing to me, but at least I'm not alone. This is so unhinged. I'm unhinged. It's been at least 20 minutes. I... My mind is empty. At this point, I need to, like... I'd have to just take a break and try tomorrow. But I have to finish the video. I can't I can't just be like, yeah, I have an 18 minute video with no answer. That's that would be evil. Although maybe I should do it. That would be really funny. The best part is, even if there's 10 more minutes in this video, you don't know if that's because it took me that long to find the fix. Or it took me that long to decide that I had to give up. You don't know the ending of this video any more than I do. <laughs> okay, I glance at GitHub again. I've gone through the history this time. I'm absolutely certain it's within this commit and within the last hour of work because nothing here even touches the player code since that live stream last week. And so I know, I know I would have noticed during the live stream. Like, I was pretty sure I would have noticed earlier today and that I noticed right when it happened. Like, I think that's actually true. But now I'm 100% sure. Like, I just have to verify. Because, you know, I'm at the point where, like, my grip on reality is uncertain. Like, my ability as a programmer. Like, I might not be a programmer. I just, I, I'm actually a pixel artist. And I, and I'm, I jump from another reality to this one to, like, 
and so I'm, I'm working on someone else's project. I, that's the only explanation at this point. Okay, yeah, here's another point of comparison. Here's Sonia's create event. Here's Lydia's create event. Literally, obviously, copy pasted. I there's there's downsides to them being copy pasted, but I I know it's not in the create event. Okay, Sonia, I would like to see your sprite array. Uh, sure, that one. This should just print it. Let's see what let's see what's in there. Is it correct for one frame? Broken for another frame? Is there some override there? Is it always wrong? I'm gonna find out. I swear on God. Okay. Okay, okay. Here's the start of the game. Apparently, there's a Sonya object in there. Probably, I spawned her because there was nothing. This is correct. I mean, I don't know what these indexes mean, but they're all different, which is correct. Uh, scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Save file loaded. File 2, that's the one that just has Sonya. They're all identical. So, in the load process, these sprites get overridden again. I now have an actual angle to go to. Um, also, I don't know why there's an invisible Sonya on the title screen. I um, am a little afraid about that. If I can fix the problem, I'm just going to pretend that this code doesn't, that there's nothing up here. I'm just going to pretend that Sonya doesn't exist until the, the, the save file is loaded, if I can fix it. Uh, hopefully I can fix it and I don't have to think about the rest of what's going on here. But, but if I have to fix this part, I'll do that too. If I have to, I just won't, if I don't have to, that's my, that's my plan. Okay. Here's the file loading code. I've glanced over it. I still am not sure. I just want to caveat this by saying I haven't made any changes to this code. It's all the same. It's been the same for months. Except that minus sign. Oh my god, I'm gonna be haunted by those tonight. Uh, um, here's our thing for each recruitment. Sonia's is set to true because you start with her. Control dot add player. That's the same thing we looked at that earlier. Here's our initial player. So if there's nobody in the player list, then we add that initial player. That's the default. That shouldn't be happening. I'm pretty sure when we're loading these save files, we're going into this option, this else bracket. Then we're going through our player list. And we're adding them all. Sonia, Lydia, Tehran. Um, and then for any player that isn't in this player list, we destroy it. So that should get rid of, that's what's getting rid of the one on the title screen. <laughs> um, and then we destroy the list because we don't need it anymore. It was a temporary list. And then we make an active player like this. Now, does anything here, compatibility, um, disposition, player position, spawn X. Compatibility. Don't know how that would affect anything. I mean, I'm talking through it. Like, thanks for being my rubber duck, YouTube audience. But uh, it's not helping tonight, today. I, I... Like, is it in here? Make active player somehow? I'm going to go look at all these three. I'm going to look at these three. Add player, has player, and make active player. See if I forked them up somewhere. Find out. Okay, there's one thing here that confuses me, which I'm going to change and then test, which is I don't quite know why this doesn't just say instances. Um. I'm going to change that and test it right now. But I don't think that affects the bug. OK, that fix didn't affect the bug, didn't break anything, just like expected. I just confirmed that loading a brand new save file also causes it. So it's not a backwards compatibility issue, which is a little bit of a relief, but not surprising either. Because again, I don't, I didn't change anything that would cause this. I can't tell. Is this video just boring? Everyone stopped watching by now. I'm just speaking to avoid. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, I have to fix it. I can't, I can't ship this.
I have no choice. I am bound to solve this problem. Whether I record it or not is uh, also irrelevant, but I am recording it. All right, looking through all this player management code stuff, like the make active player, nothing here looks suspicious. It's all kind of confusing code. I should probably have commented it better. This whole thing doesn't have any comments, but nothing in there should affect that array. So now I'm wondering if like the create event of the parent object is being called somewhere. I'm going to look. Okay, I went silent because I thought I thought of a way that could happen, but it's not true. I'll check though. I'll be right back. No. Event perform is nowhere used in my code. This is all other people's codes. And so nothing could be calling the create event. Well, I guess the GM Live room loader does, but I'm going to assume that GM Live is not breaking my code. I also didn't add that in the last week, so GM Live is great, everybody. Check it out. Okay, here's what I'm doing next. In the create event of entity, player, and Sonia, I have listed that and the sprites idle array, which should be defined for an entity. And now I can see the load, the title screen load, the save file load, um, and see what is in these arrays and see if it's really changing in the create event or if it's changing elsewhere. Okay, let's load a save file. Um, now let's look at the debug log. Okay, glanced at it. I'm also adding one for Lydia and Duran in their create events. And then uh, I'm going to test this one more time and I'll show you what I found. Okay, start of game. Entity player Sonia. This is the correct array. Sonia is created on the title screen because it doesn't, because there's no room, like there's no party there. I don't know why she's not visible, but must have accounted for this at some point. Then I load the save file with all three of them and it only loads. Lydia and Duran. Presumably, that's because this Sonia up here is the one that's used. Um, that still doesn't explain how her array gets reset, but I'm going to track that down next because I did not. Again, this it's Sonia on the title screen. There she is. Um, I guess when I load, I should probably delete all players. Let me try that. That might crash. You know what? I probably did some dumb stuff where like. Some code is dependent on there being a player in the room. Let me let me see what happens if I delete them all upon loading a save file, though. <clears throat> As I expected, there is code that crashes. I'm going to just fix these crashes. That's just how this is going to go. And if this fixes, by the way, what I added is this, this, this line. When I clear the player list, also destroy all of them. If this fixes the issue after I've addressed all the crashes that happen when there's no player on screen, I actually have a theory as to how this could be causing the issue. I still don't know how it... Again, I pause. I had an idea. I don't think it's true, but I, I have an idea. If, if, if the title screen Sonia that's apparently there that I can't see is the reason why the first instantiated Sonia doesn't have a correct sprites array. I have an idea why that could be the case, but I need to fix these crashes first. So give me, you know, 10, 20 minutes. We'll see how it goes. Ugh. Holy cow. Somehow, what I just did just removed them from the save files. This is not the bug that we started with. Hey, but on the other hand, besides the camera being weird at the start, that does fix the sprite issue. Can I even? Yeah, OK. Uh-huh. They're back. Save. Load. They're gone. I probably just put the delete all character players in the wrong spot, but let me just say this is just a nail in the coffin. I, I can't even. Oh, but hey, good news. The There was only one crash with uh, there being no players, so I fixed that already. Okay, so this is why I can't see them on the title screen. I just put this object into any room way back when, like maybe a year or two years ago, 
I put this object in any room where I didn't want the player to have any inputs. Um, I think it doesn't seem to be true in the step event, which makes me wonder whether you can actually like move around on the title screen. I'm going to comment out this and go see what the title screen looks like. <laughs> there she is. Ah, uh, and there's no input because this menu is part of the cutscene. So the game thinks it's a cutscene, which is why I can't provide any input for Sonya. But there she is. Um, <laughs> the audio is not broken. I'm just, uh, I just don't. There's the, there's the invisible Sonia that keeps the game running. Um, yeah, uh, let me think about this. I, I'm getting somewhere. I kind of know what's happening now, I think. Uh, okay, so I don't, I still don't know why I can't delete the players and also save their existence. That seems weird because like it's only deleting on the file load and then it should immediately recreate them but besides the point i'm now sure right that the reason that sonia is frozen is because the title screen sonia must be frozen so i need to look at unique properties of title screen sonia uh, i mean look look here she is she's up there frozen right so somehow when i load she doesn't know she can start moving so that means oh but no it's just because her sprites are set like all the movement is working i already checked that so title screen sonia somehow gets her sprites set to be to be just all facing down okay okay well that that's that's the, that's where you need to look at i'm gonna go look at that yeah yeah, yeah. i i can figure it out i, I hope Okay, well, here's the thing. I just made it so I can delete the title screen, and um, I can walk around, and her sprites are correct. So now, load. <sighs> in between. Somewhere, it's in... Uh, I don't understand. On top of all this, I didn't touch any of this code. It's literally been the same for months. Uh. Very important note to self. Don't forget to delete this when I'm done testing. Actually, I'm just going to delete it now. If I need it, I'll put it back. <laughs> Don't want the player to be able to, to walk around on the title screen. <laughs> you know, I just like this video to serve as an example of why game development is really hard. Programming is just really hard. And it's not because of like adding a new feature or making it so, so that something can move around. It's because every once in a while, something goes wrong and you just can't fix it. There's just no way. I'm to the point, like, I can't, I don't know. I'm at a loss. This is, this is the end. I'll never finish this game because as soon as I'm ready to ship it, something like this is going to happen. Something like this just happens all the time. This is the worst I've had in a while, but not the worst ever, I don't think. Anyways, for anyone that thinks game development is easy, probably not many of you because you watch this channel already and... If you're watching dev vlogs, I assume you know at least a little bit about how game dev works. But for anyone that assumes game development is, is easy, this is why it's not. It's not just, it's not, it's not because it takes forever to add things. It's because after you've added those things, something goes wrong, horribly wrong. And 
no matter how good of a programmer you are, and I'm not saying I'm the best ever, but no matter how good of a programmer you are, something goes wrong that you still can't fix. And at some point, you have to just be like, okay, that's good enough. This is not good enough. I can't ship this. Maybe I can. It's just going to come out like this. You know what? If, if, if Daughter of Dreams releases and Sonya has no walk animation, this is why. But I can't, I can't give up after only, what? Like, oh, it's been like an hour. You're only seeing a part of it. And this video is still already 35 minutes. This is, this is almost longer than, like, by, by the time I finish, this is going to be as long as a live stream. And it's just, I can't explain it. <sighs> this is why game dev takes so long. It's, it's stuff like this. It's like 90% of the work is stuff like this. <laughs> Wish me luck. Between jump cuts, when I come back, I hope I have something new for you. Okay, I'm trying a YYC build next. Um, and on the off chance it does compile, this will let me know for sure maybe that it's not like some really weird game maker specific thing. Um, because I, I'm investigating, as far as I can tell, this function is only called once exactly when it should. So I, I'm I'm digging the trenches for 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 any kind of dregs of ideas. Okay, YYC compile crashes. Obviously not expecting it to work. I haven't tested in a while. At least not the same problem. I'll investigate this later. I can't uh, can't can't tackle too many birds with the same stone. I only have one stone, and that stone is my one remaining brain cell. This is a different bird. Okay. Kinda hard to explain what I've done here. I added this just to see if this function, this one that creates these new sprites, these new arrays, is called. It's called once here. This is with the start of the new game. Entity player, Sonia. So this is Sonia with the correct sprite on the title screen. Okay. Now I'm going to load my debug save, which is now in a room with no other entities. Oop. There we go. So now Sonia is broken. Init sprites was not called. So it's not this function, which makes me think again, it's that default sprites function, which I guess if it, depending on the order of operations, it could get a copy of these sprites. And then like when the room starts, if I told it to leave combat, maybe it would go back to the default, quote unquote, but the default never got these. That could be it. Still confused about how any change I made recently would do that, but I think once I see it, I'm gonna know. Remember what I said like an hour ago? Well, I guess less, but still, you know, like an hour ago, um, it's probably gonna be really obvious. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Okay, you know, it's dawned on me, the code that I was working on before this all happened. It's been so long ago, I had forgotten. But it dawned on me, I was working on this function. This next one that I'm investigating as to copying sprites wrong. So it's obviously this. This is, and to be clear, I wasn't making changes to this function. I was changing when I called it, which means somewhere in there is an exit combat function. And I'm going to go peek Discord in a, or GitHub in a second, and I'll, I'll show it to you. Somewhere in there is an exit combat function, which should just be an in combat equals false. It's, it's probably something that happens when you load a room. Let's find out now. I'm going to, I'm going to run this. I'm going to see when exactly exit combat is called. I, 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 I'm going to find out. Um, I realized I'm pretty sure I was capturing the game at that time. So uh, here's, here's this exit combat function. And here's the copying of all these sprites. <clears throat> there it is. Which one is it? Line 13, kill. It's not this.
Got this. What? It's not, it's not any of these. How could it be any of these? Okay, obviously it's being called. Which one is it? It's not enemy destroyed. Combat dot stop. This would be only if in combat. Um, when is stop called? Oh, there it is. And on a restart. Okay, so it's this one that's causing problems, right? Let's find out. Here we go. Sure enough, okay. Somehow, okay, that's what's causing it. Um, I need this because combat needs to stop if you're inside of combat when you load a file. However, what I can do is make it so that um, in combat, false, false, init combat, it's not that, false, false, huh. Let's try this. I am going to put ugh, my tabs are all messed up again. In the combat.stop, I will just check if combat is active before we do that. It's active. Okay. You're here with me for what I hope is the final compile. Now I've realized I think on some of the um, on some of the clips I was probably recording the wrong video because I left the game open instead of closing it after finishing. Um, I'll go through the video and decide if it's something I need to edit over. Um, anyways, let's hit load. Okay, that weird teleport is not a bug. That's a that's a thing because of debug mode. Um, it's fixed. Um, the lesson here is, don't become a programmer. The um, lesson for me, who is already unfortunately a programmer, is. Um, when something goes wrong, you should assume it's the code you just changed. I was messing with exit combat. Of course it was that. I didn't know. The reason I moved on to other things was that I, I didn't know how that could be causing problems. But obviously it had to be that. That's the thing I just changed. The code worked fine before. Now it's broken. It's what I changed. And I needed to investigate that first instead of speculating about what it could be and spending... Um, 125 years trying to fix a bug that was... I should have just reverted the whole git commit and just... The whole the whole commit and just started with my progress from yesterday because it, it, it wasn't that much. I, I could have done it all again. Anyways, I was wondering if I was going to do much um, coding tonight. Um, and this answers the question, first of all. Um, I just spent a long time coding, quote unquote. Second of all, um, no, I am not doing any more. <laughs> that is it. That's that's the end of me. This this might be the last devlog you ever see from me. Okay, that's hyperbole. I'm sure I'll feel fine tomorrow, but right now. 
right now i have i have never felt so low before well except for you know times when you know actually life was worse it turns out programming isn't the end of the world but see i'm just trying to regulate my emotions right now that's that's it that's all i can do thanks for watching everybody you did get to see the whole end of it i i I don't have anything else to say. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.